This ain't financial advice. I did it again. I did it again. I sat here and I rambled for 20 minutes and didn't press the record button. That really, really chaps my rear end. It makes you feel crazy, okay? And I'm not crazy. I just... (laughs) It's the most defeating process ever. Ever. (laughs) When you're like, I'm done my video. And then you're like, oh, I didn't press the record. Oh. But I'll do it again. I'll do it again because I'm a champ. I'm a champ. That's right. 2004 Division I National Championship Syracuse lacrosse team. So check it out. If we come down to the chart trade here, we got Bitcoin at the all-time high of $67,466. We got Ethereum precipice of $5,000 right under $4,800. We got Binance Coin $653. We got Solana at Two hundred and forty-nine. We got Tether at around a buck, and Cardano. All my own sound effects. You know it, boy. At two dollars and twelve cents, and I'm feeling cool. I've got that that cool, calm, collected feeling, like like when you just know. Like, do you ever have feelings in your life when you just know? I just know. I just know. Not financial advice. I just know. And we tried to tell you. We tried to tell you, but you didn't listen. So we have Cardano. We got everything doing great things. And I just caught this great article about Raul Paul. Mr. Raul Paul. He is a former Goldman exec. He is very bullish on Ethereum. He says Ethereum by June 2022 could potentially hit $40,000. Now, that would be absolutely incredible. Take a look at this. What if Ethereum did hit $40,000? Well, the current price... Let's say it went to forty thousand dollars. If we divide forty-eight hundred into bump, 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 that would be an eight point three times gain. Now that's very interesting because if you said to yourself, "Wow, eight point three times gain on Ethereum," even if it was only a four times gain, that would be a huge windfall for people holding ETH bags. But he says further in the article that he could see things like Avax, things like Solana, things like Cardano, things like Terra doing even more parabolic moves. But if we come back down here and we say, what if Cardano with your current bag went to 8.3 times what it is today, times $2.12. You're looking at a $17 Cardano. So if you are holding, let's just say, say you had 100,000 ADA, booyakasha, you're sitting on 1.7 million Congratulations to you, sir. Thank you for smashing that like button. Folks, also want to say thank you to all of the nerds who are staking in the nerd node. Look at this fat daddy block that the nerd minted. Check it out. Right chair. Look at that. I mean, that is 57,803,478 for a fee of 2.4 ADA. And you're telling me we're not playing with some serious Firepower here. Thank you to all of the new delegates into the nerd node, into the nerd node, sitting at 709 with a 25 million point three staked into the nerd node. Thank you all very much. I literally could not do these videos without you. But he says something very interesting in this article, Rao Paul. He says that we may see more explosive gains out of things like Avalanche, Terra, Cardano. They're riskier bets because Ethereum clearly has the larger ecosystem. But what he said I thought was kind of interesting. We'll have to see if that actually plays out. We'll recheck this video. He said, you may see Ethereum start to eclipse the Bitcoin market cap. And if it does, that may signal the end of this bull run. I think that's an interesting theory. He was saying he thought all the Bitcoin maxis would get a little... little A little upset about that and probably try to dump. So it's uh, it's going to be interesting. We're going through history right now, live, on screen. And I am happy to be a part of this. I am happy to have had this experience. And folks, the world is waking up. New York, New York's new mayor wants schools to teach about Bitcoin and blockchain. Why? Because cryptocurrency is the future, okay? And New York has 
seriously stifled the growth of cryptocurrency if you ask me personally. They put the bit license in. At one point, it was, it was not possible to buy Cardano in New York. And if you look at all of those things, you're like, you guys did that because you didn't know what something was. And before you did any research, you just outlawed it. That's the way I looked at it. And they're like, protect Wall Street. Bitcoin's a scam. Outlaw. Bit license. Make it too hard to use. But you're living in New York City. You're supposed to be one of the most progressive places. You're supposed to be the place where people go to innovate new ideas and you crush innovation. No, you need to do what this new mayor is talking about by implementing crypto into the payment system, into the educational system, because let's face it, crypto went mainstream this year and we're not going back. We're not going back. It's like the two monkeys theory. If you ever heard about that, there was been, there's been studies off the islands in Japan of two monkey um, village is a monkey a village do monkeys have villages anyway it was two colonies of monkeys on two totally different islands who had adapted the exact same behaviors and discoveries with no communication from one another pretty interesting and that's how crypto is going to be it's like once the idea clicks over to enough people it's like we all have sort of this collective consciousness. Like if you ever look at kids and how they use iPads, it's like it's like they it's like they kind of know how to use it from the minute they exit the womb. And like you look at grandpa use the iPad. So once the collective consciousness of humanity comes to the great realization that blockchain technology could be the thing that that is akin to fire, water, the wheel indoor plumbing then we all just accept it and it becomes the status quo and that's the kind of thing that takes ethereum to forty thousand, and that's the kind of thing that takes cardano to 32 dollars i think uh and, and just not to be such a cardano maxi um because i don't want to be i think if you had solana i think if you had avalanche i think if you had terra luna like he says they could be super explosive in this bull cycle so if you're not a cardano fan i think you'll probably do just fine with these as well okay i mean look if you've ever been through a cryptocurrency bull cycle and you hold something that has good fundamental values like solana avax luna now look i like things about cardano it's way more decentralized than a lot of these projects uh solana <coughs> um but with that being said they're still there's these projects still have some solid things about them. They're not like I'm not over here saying like these are all trash. Blah, 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 blah. Like I, I don't need to be like that because I've looked into them and they have good things behind them. I just think Cardano has the most organic growth, the largest uh, organic community. And I think that Cardano has has a great vision to bring financial tools to people who don't have access to that those tools. And that's a beautiful dream. And it's not something that um, that that only helps people, but it also can help help yourself in the process. Yeah, you can get rich developing the unknown world by giving them tools that they never had before. Um, and if it doesn't work and it doesn't go as planned, it's still a massive ecosystem that can build a litany of amazing projects on with an amazing community behind it. And regardless of if you love Cardano or in or out, I think in this bull cycle, as long as you don't try to be Mr. Day Trader guy, um, you probably do pretty well. You'll probably do pretty well. Not financial advice, of course. Please do your own due diligence and always consult a professional. So folks, if you got a minute, come check me out on Twitter at Yacht Wallace. On Twitter, hit me up, hit me with a retweet. Folks wanted to fill you in with this quick video for the second time tonight. And if I don't see you, I'll see you on the internet. I'm out. Steak with Nord. <laughs>